Well, a new bar restaurant in Mount Lebanon is making sure some Yinzers get a chance to let their hair down, all the way down, <laughs> well, at least in the back. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's called mullets because it's owned by the mullet family. But these mullets have put the party in the front and the business in the back because that's where the kitchen is. Marissa and Colin Mullet are here with their dad, Jim, and you're putting us to work. You really I are. Am I'm ready to work. Yes. I am. You're going to like, take us to bartender school, right? Yes. You know, just a little bit. So these are a couple of our like signature cocktails that we have going on on our menu. Uh, we're going to start off with the mullets old fashioned. Uh, right. It's kind of just like our basic take on a good classic old fashioned. Okay. So well, we're going to start through. off here with the uh, Jim Beam Black that we use. Okay. And you're going to measure two ounces on the big side of the jigger there. All the way to the top. Oh, okay. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. And then you're going to pour that right into your mixing glass. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, I can smell that. That's okay. It's okay. I got a little carried away. You're doing great. The more the merrier. Okay. It's 9 a.m. And then you're going to take that simple syrup that's right by. Yep. And you're going to measure about half an ounce on the short side. Oh, well, the short side. Short side. Yep. Be right to the middle of there. Okay. You're going to dump that guy in. Okay. And then you're going to take the uh, Angostura bitters here, and you're going to do about two to three dashes. Wow, it smells amazing. Some people like a little more, some people like a little less. Okay. Kind of yeah. depends on a personal level here. You're going to scoop a little bit of ice in here. Okay. Yeah, I, got some ice yeah, I got two, don't worry. <laughs> what is the name of this again? Uh, it's wow. the Mullets Old Fashioned. The Mullets Old Fashioned. Yeah, okay. so old fashions have been around for a while. Sure, yeah. Uh, they, like, you know, became big in like the mid 1800s. And uh, really, it's like anything you can do with whiskey, sweetener, and bitters. Is this what would typically have like a maraschino cherry at the bottom? Yes. So, yes. Right, okay. Yeah. Because yes. right. yeah. I remember but, having these and I remember thinking, oh, what a nice reward at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're going to stir this for about like 15, 20 seconds. You can okay. also feel the side of it and feel it kind of getting cold there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you're going to yeah. take yeah. that spoon out. Okay. And you're going to grab your rocks glass here with your big okay. cube in there. Oh, I love so that. Pretty, yeah. And you're going to grab the strainer out of your shaker there. Okay. You're going to fit that right on top yes. of your mixing okay. glass. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to pour right over. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Looks perfect, wow, this is right? Like, and then you're going to take that orange nice peel. Okay. Oh, you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna take the orange peel and you're gonna kind of press it, give oh. it a little squeeze. Oh, I just stuck it. And in. oh, you're <laughs> oh, fine. That's okay. And this then is the where they look fancy. I pulled it back. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. 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 So that's it's called expressing part. an orange yes. peel, and what you're doing is you're getting kind of the essence and the oils from the uh, rind. Okay. On the top of the bourbon, and then you're kind of getting the flavor on the side of the glass as you wash it there. Just, and then you're just gonna stick that cherry right in there. Okay. Okay. And that's our old fashioned. Look at how cute. Oh, cheers, yeah. guys. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. cheers. All right, we have to try this, although Marissa's going to get us started on the next yeah. one, too. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mine's a little bit of a doozy. All right. Oh, I oh like boy. This. More. It's good. Yeah. This is it's so very good. nice. So we like the Jim Beam Black because <sighs> it's a little bit sweeter than your average bourbon. Mm -hmm. So we want like everybody to be able to enjoy an old fashioned and try it. So it makes it a little bit more accessible for That's everybody. That's probably why I liked it. <laughs> All right, Marissa, okay. talk us through. So I'm making a clover club for you guys. You're going to take the big side of your jigger and your gin. And you're gonna do okay. two ounces of gin. So again, all the way to the top, and grab your shaker for me too. Okay. okay. And then you're gonna put this in the small side of your shaker. Okay. Just dump it right small in there. Small side of the shaker. Uh -huh. All right. And then we're gonna do a half ounce of the lemon juice. The lemon juice. Okay. Yep. Got lemon juice. On the small side, just fill it halfway up. Dump that in there. Okay. And then we're gonna take our raspberry simple syrup. Oh, that sounds incredible. It's delicious. And then it. you're gonna put that three fourths of an ounce, so just below okay. the top. Okay. Okay. So what if we want a little more? You can add a you little more. Add yeah, go in your heart's you desire, honestly. Yeah. Whatever you want. And then we're gonna take our egg white. Okay. Okay. This is, this egg is the white. yes, this okay. is the fun part. And you're just gonna dump the whole thing in there. Okay. Okay. The egg white oh. traps oh, air. It just Yeah. <laughs> it plops in. Yeah. The egg white traps air in there. We're gonna take literally one cube a piece. Okay. And put it in there. Nope. Yeah, a little plop. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, the egg white's gonna trap the air in there and change the texture of the drink for you without adding any additional flavor. So it's fun. Interesting. It comes okay. out like a creamy texture. Okay. Dump it in the top shaker. Dump it in the top shaker. Yeah. Really like smack it down in there. You don't want to lose this. Oh. When we shake it, it's gonna get a little frothy. You don't okay. have to quickly shake it. You can just go slow. Oh. 
And we'll do this for about 20 seconds to mix that in there and kill any germs. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what it does, it does? Like, yeah, so the alcohol cooks safe. the egg white. Oh, how interesting. Yeah, yeah it okay. makes it safe yeah, to drink. I've a drink with egg white before. It's this really delicious. Heart. Like I said, it just adds a different texture, so yeah. it'll be a little creamy, but it doesn't change the flavor or the make of the drink. I also, this is so professional to put the one shaker I know. in the other. I know, right? I've never I know. done this that's before. So Don't you feel so cool? <laughs> like, you're making so fancy. There okay. are many different kinds of shakers. We We've come to off. learn also, and this Ooh. one is a Boston shaker. We're going to add more ice <laughs> now. Oh. Okay. Okay, and we're going to shake again for like another 30 seconds or so so that the drink is okay. cold. All right, you know what? We are running out of time. So oh, I that's wanna, okay. I want to kind of show what what it looks like in the final product. Here, yeah. I'll so give you the... What will we do here? You're going to just strain it with both strainers. Oh. Okay. Real easy. Strain, strain, strain. Okay. Strain, yeah. strain, strain. Double strain so you get the nice broth on top. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can keep up with you, but I can see the pretty color over okay. there. Okay, and then and just the tap that out. It's really cool. There you go, and it's done. Oh, I okay. definitely want to try this. Easy peasy. <laughs> Ooh. And then you plop all your right. pretty little garnish. Oh, yours yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Yours is a little short. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, oh yeah, you Ooh. made a pretty. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I yeah. want to say Mullet's is open Wednesdays through Sundays. We have a link on our mm. website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.